whenever we're dealing with an odd you know root of a number, mm -hmm. uh, we can have a negative right can. So you can take the negative because a lot of people remember, oh, you can't take the you know the square root of a negative number. Well, that only works for even roots. Whenever you have an odd root, because you say you know the reason why we can't take the square root of a negative number is because there's no two no, no two uh, positive numbers that make a a negative number. But x squared times x is always going to equal um, a positive x squared. And same thing with the negative x squared times negative x squared is always going to give you that positive x squared. Yep. So, you know, whenever we're taking, it always is either d double positive or double negative. You can never make this going to be a negative x squared with them being the exact same number. Yeah. So just remember, whenever you have an odd root, you can take the odd root of a negative number. Okay. Um, and to complete this answer, you know, pretty much all I did is the other thing to remember is, like I said, when we, one of the rules I talked about was if I had x squared um, times y squared, okay, you can take the, sep since there's multiplication going on, you can break okay. that up into the square root of x squared times the square root of y squared. Okay, you can right. break it up. So it equals x times y. Well, the same thing works with division. If I have, um, x squared divided by y squared, that is equivalent to the square root of x squared divided by the square root of y squared. So one thing just to remember when you have a rational term like this, you can just do these separately. Okay? Right. So whenever I want to figure out this, if we're going to take the fifth root of a negative 1024, that's just going to, uh, this um, is going to give me a negative number. So mm -hmm. I'll have a negative four. So what number multiplied by itself, you know, five times gives me a negative 1,024. That's a negative four okay. over, um, you know, what number multiplied by itself five times is going to give me uh, 243. And that answer is three. So the final answer for this would just be a negative four thirds. All right. Makes sense.